river water's up. Ken Estes first noticed a boat on the Columbia River seemed to be taking on water a couple weeks ago. I had an interaction with a guy that was on the boat when it was listing. I came up close to it and he wasn't very friendly, he yelled at me a little bit. A week later, he says the boat was on the bottom of the river. There it is. That's the masthead and radar. A hazard in the water blocking part of the channel and the approach to Chinook Landing. The question now, what to do with it? I'd like to see it gone. I worry about a little bit of environmental hazard. I'm sure there's gas and deep, um, you know, oil on board from the engines. Uh, typically, the Multnomah County Sheriff's Department, which patrols the river here, would try to track down the boat's owner, whose responsibility it is to remove it. But in the case of abandoned boats, that's not so easy. They're just at the end of their useful life, and it's expensive to get rid of them, so a lot of times people just walk away. Right now, the majority of abandoned and derelict boats, those in danger of sinking, are removed by the Oregon State Marine Board. The previous two years, we've removed about 31 boats. Rachel Graham is the policy and environmental manager for the Marine Board. She says most often the boats are initially abandoned at a marina after the owner stops paying or can't pay moorage fees. And the marinas then sell them uh, pretty cheaply uh, to new owners who may not ha be able to take care of the vessels. People live on them for a while. Uh, boats yeah, doesn't work out, yeah, they're leaky, they're uncomfortable, and people will walk away. Graham says it costs the state between two and $6,000 to remove and dispose of a sunken boat, but the cost goes up depending on the boat's size. When we get into boats that are uh, in the over 20-some feet, our fishing vessels, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars. The Marine Board's budget for removing abandoned and derelict boats is $75,000 a year. But after a couple of expensive removals, the agency is out of money for the year, with 20 boats, including the one in the Columbia River, on the waiting list. Graham says the sinking of that boat is still under investigation, but the Marine Board is considering dipping into an emergency fund to address the situation. If not complete removal and disposal, at least removal from that immediate location, maybe storage someplace else. Probably twenty, twenty-five thousand bucks to remove that for what the sad part is, a twenty-five dollar bilge pump probably would have kept it afloat. On the Columbia River, Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon.